Welcome to 8 News at 530. A pandemic era policy that significantly limits immigration will stay in place for now. The Supreme Court stepping in last minute after a push from states like Virginia. I'm Deanna Albrin. Thanks for watching 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out how ending Title 42 could impact the Commonwealth. Jackie. Yeah, Eric, today I found out that Title 42 was triggered in the early days of the pandemic to stop the spread of COVID, and it's still being used today to expel migrants more quickly without considering their claims of asylum. Today, thousands of migrants in limbo on the U.S.-Mexico border. After the Supreme Court temporarily stopped the end of restrictions in response to 19 Republican-led states, Virginia Attorney General Jason Biarez among those in the legal fight. My hope is that Title 42 stays in place for the remainder of the Biden administration so we can have some control over what's happening in our border. It is a humanitarian crisis. It is a human trafficking crisis. Do you believe there will be irreparable harm done in Virginia specifically if this policy is lifted? We lose four Virginia is a data overdoses from fentanyl that is coming over our southern border. We have a complete lack of control of what's happening. And so, yes. Simon Sandoval Moshenberg offers legal services to immigrants seeking asylum in Virginia. Yeah, there's been a lot of desperation. He says they're preparing for a possible spike after more than two years of pent up demand. Virginia is about the number five, sometimes number six uh, destination state of the immigrants coming across the southern border. He says Title 42 is no longer needed to protect public health and is now only punishing immigrants for the government's failure to reform a broken system. At this point, it's just transparently an excuse to keep immigrants out. And Title 42 was originally set to end on Wednesday at midnight, but now it will remain in effect until the Supreme Court lifts its pause, a timeline that is still unclear tonight. I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.